It seemed like a great American success story. A local man, born and raised in Rhode Island, works his way up to a coveted senior leadership position with one of the Navy's most cutting-edge combat systems commands. But this story does not have a happy ending. What drove Ralph Mariano to betray his country, his family, and his friends? What were the signs that were missed? What could his co-workers have noticed and reported? The signs were there, but those who came forward were dismissed. He was very well respected, the type of person, if you needed something to be done, he could get it done and make it happen. Just one of those guys who we, we thought was one of our all-stars. However, according to reports from Mariano's co-workers. Ralph was real boisterous, very loud, um, didn't hesitate to swear at people whenever he felt like swearing. If you worked for Ralph, you really weren't too fond of Ralph. Um, he could be very difficult to work for. The risk of fraud is greatest when opportunity, pressure, and rationalization are all present. And in Mariano's case, he felt the pressure to live beyond his means. He rationalized his actions as not harming the command, and he bullied anyone who tried to limit his opportunity. In the mid-90s, apparently he had hit a large jackpot on a slot machine at one of the local casinos. He cleared $69,000 on that jackpot. From that point on, he kind of had the, you know, had the itch. Mr. Mariano lived a high lifestyle. He bought expensive cigars, he went on a lot of trips, and probably the, the most prominent spending habit that he had was gambling. During football season, on Saturday, he would bet $2,000 on every one of the top 25 football games, Whatever money was left over, he split up and bet on the pro football games on Sunday. And whatever money was left after that, he would bet on the Monday night football game. We do know that he spent $100,000 on cigars. Mariano claimed to be a dedicated son and friend, but his actions revealed no regard for the people he claimed he cared for. Mariano displayed multiple concerning characteristics with no regard for laws or the people his actions might hurt. He had a lot of autonomy. He was very well trusted by his bosses and the NAVC leadership. So really he was left alone in the dark to conduct business as he wanted. Even though he was a good worker and there was a lot of legitimate and good work that Ralph Mariano did, there was 15 years of fraud that was also taking place. Ralph Mariano was uh, both a kind individual and also a controlling individual. So he was very manipulative and surrounded himself with people that were susceptible to control. Ralph Mariano, being having such a strong personality and an intimidating personality, he was able to just make everything just disappear, dismiss everything, um, and move everything in a different direction. So at no point was the fact that the government paid for a product that they could not account for and never received, um, that was never reported to NCIS. Um, or, as far as I can tell, really too far up the chain past Ralph Mariano. Mariano orchestrated his scheme at the expense of the taxpayer, the ASFT employees who lost their jobs, and the Navy. He did admit to, over the course of several years, he had taken, in his mind, somewhere in the neighborhood of three to four million dollars. Uh, his explanation was that when he retired from Newark, he was going to go to work for ASFT for free to uh, uh, repay the debt back. Taking care of his family did not turn out the way that Ralph had pictured. His girlfriend was charged and convicted, as well as his 82-year-old father, who died while Ralph was serving time in prison. 